I'm back in the shop here today and we're getting ready to block out the Cadillac. This thing has just been a long process sanding and fixing stuff. I finally got it all primered. I'm going to block it out right now. get this thing all blocked out and we're gonna get it ready to prime one more time and then it's going to paint we've got a shop right now that's uh, gonna allow us to use their truck and trailer I don't know if they want to be named but we'll talk to them and see maybe if we can't get some footage in there they're gonna allow us to use their truck and trailer to transport this car down there and then allow us to use their shop which is pretty freaking nice of them so we got to hurry up cuz kind of on a little bit of a schedule but Hey, schedules are good because that's how you get shit done. outside at uh, 6 o'clock and uh, it's snowing out here there we go there's a new light I installed uh, I got the heat on in the shop so hopefully it's warm in here alright not doing too bad got myself a new heater the other one I had was on loan so that went back so I got that one I think it's working pretty good not too bad. I like it. So, we got this Cadillac blocked out. And, uh, got it. Hey, easy. Come back. Got the Cadillac blocked out. Didn't turn out too bad. I like it. So, we're going to get this thing taped back up. I got these two windows right here to repair. And, uh, we'll get it all blown off. That's going to suck a lot of my heat out because I'm going to turn that fan on back there. And, uh, dust out yeah so it's gonna be cold in here again but hopefully my new little heater is up for the job it's pretty warm in here I mean it was cold fortunately this shop doesn't keep heat very well walk past my thermometer oh it's reading reading about 55 in here so definitely gonna have to get warmer than that in order to be painting but or not not painting but priming so we'll get that set up, get the heat turned up, get the car blown off, and uh, get it reheated in here again so we can spray this thing. And then I'll block it out one more time, and it will be loaded up, and it will be taken to a really cool shop. So 
and hopefully I'll be able to get video in there. Hopefully they'll allow me to videotape in there because there's some there's some stuff in there that possibly might not be able to be on camera. I'm not sure, so I will have to talk to them and figure that out. But otherwise, we'll have some pretty cool footage coming up. finishing this car up uh what was it Thursday night I was supposed to prime it and I blew it off as you seen just a second ago and there was a bunch of spots that weren't touched and I going through sanding it all out and everything making sure getting all the little spots getting the stuff getting the details because the details are what are important when painting a car you got to make sure that you have everything sanded because basically if it's not sanded paint don't stick simple as that and if you run by that philosophy you'll never have an issue when you're painting anything you got to get everything i mean you got to get inside here all this around here all this this down inside here everything counts all of it so if you think it needs to be sanded sand it Thursday, so I got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to block this car out and get it ready for paint. Tommy. What's up? I took your stuff to sandblasting today. You did? Yeah. Price is going to be a little bit higher than what we told him. Or what I he told understand. us. I had some more shit in at the end of it. Yeah, you did. He was not happy about that undercoating on the back side of them taillights or the uh, turn signals. Neither was I. I told him don't worry about it. Don't worry about sandblasting it? Yeah. They ride right in front of the tires. Yeah. So. You see them. Yeah. What? You see them. The back sides? Yep. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. I'll send them with our Yeah. They'll even out. So. But, uh, so the new price that he gave me, he tried getting me for 130 I told him that was too much. He asked me what I was working with. I told him 80 bucks. He told me no way. So, brace yourself for this. Don't pull too hard. I'm not pull too hard. Slide it back. He told me 100 bucks and a half pint of Royal Crown, Crown Royal. You can do that. So an extra $20 and then it's like eight bucks for that pint. That's half too pint. much to ask for. 
Eight dollars? <sighs> he asked me, he's like, he's like, what year is this fucking car? And I'm like, a 53. He's like, who the fuck are you doing this car for? I'm like, he's like, this guy must be fucking loaded. And I'm like, no, I'm like, he's like, he's like 27. He's like, holy fuck. I'm like, he's been working on the car since he's like 18. He's like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, he's finally getting a painted. He's like, oh, all right then. Story time. So <laughs> Jenna goes to get the tote bins because the Dollar General by me, they don't have jack shit. By the way, Dollar General in Wall Lake, Michigan, don't go there. So she goes to the one up by her house in the phone you there. And she gets in line and the lady goes, wow, you must be moving, aren't you? She goes, no, they're for car parts. Old dude in line that's like in front of her getting ready to go goes, what kind of car parts? She goes, it's for my boyfriend's car. What's he got? 1953 Cadillac Fleetwood 60 Special. He must have huge testicles. <laughs> he did not. I had one of those. The smaller version. I think that's what she said. Well, yeah, because this is the big truck. The, sto the story's second hand, so. Right. Names and places might have been changed, but regardless, testicles was mentioned. <laughs> to and protect goes, the innocent? Yeah. So he goes. How, when's he driving? She goes, he pretty much drove it daily for a while. He goes, I'd have a shotgun on my hip at all times. Be like, stay the fuck away from my car! Get the fuck away from me. <sighs> me meanwhile, I'm just like, I wouldn't come into my lane. It's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. I uh, send the way you drive this fucker. I drive a super dude and I drive off the road with you coming at me. drives it like it's a fucking Sherman tank. That's the size of one, but it ain't one. It's the size of one. It's the weight of one. Sherman tanks, also Cadillac powered. I know is that Sherman actually helped win the war with Cadillac. The Sherman tanks, all powered by Cadillac for the most part. There were some variations, but almost all the tanks that you'll see are Cadillac flathead powered. So when Cadillac came out with the V8, up until 49, they were flatheads. And they weren't your typical four jobs. They were monstrosity GMs. The Fords had nice rounded heads, acorn nuts for the studs, were a polished, beautiful engine. The Cadillacs, you weren't ever going to open the hood, so all the Cadillac flatheads just looked like they came out of some industrial piece of equipment. They were slapped in the car, and away they went. Your exhaust and intake were weird because you'd actually have the exhaust coming out up by where the intake was, so even with the flathead design, they still hadn't figured out how to actually make the engines. Cut the 49, they finally said, hey, we're going to make an overhead valve system. They ran that design, and this particular 1953 Fleetwood has a 57 variation, but 47, 49 all the way till 60, the engine was basically unchanged. 60 to about 64 saw a change in the head design, but the blocks and everything else basically remained the same. So you probably see me using this and probably think I'm using a pool noodle, but I'm not. These are a set of blocks made by soft sanders. I don't know, one of them's got a pin in it. Okay. A set of blocks made by soft sanders. A couple, couple different densities of foam. I have a few different sizes. So, but these work really good, but they're strictly finishing blocks. They're not for doing any kind of body work. What you see me using it here for is what exactly what they're made for. A lot of marine guys use them because they got all kinds of, that's a real soft one. It's good for little concave surfaces like that. And then you've got this one here, which has got all kinds of crazy different angles on it, along with this one here. And you can get them, I think there's a size in between these two, but I have this one and this one obviously. And they work really good for, obviously, this trunk load as you just seen. They work really great where this one, the AFS block, is not so great because it doesn't quite, it, it bends a lot, but not something that I want to run on this kind of surface. 